I just did some numbers and I'm absolutely shocked by the results, guys. I know I haven't been on here as much as I'd like to be, but I wanted to share with you guys how much money I've made this year so far on social media through working with brands, through using platforms like YouTube, you know, TT, and IG. So I wanna give you guys a great breakdown of that because honestly, I'm just so shocked by this. And this is why it's the most important time to just press record. This is your sign to start creating content, folks, all right? I know it's hard, I know it's hard to figure out what niche to do, how to do it, low views, you know, people talking about you, positive comments, negative comments, but that's all just a part of the game, folks, okay? So, just before we get started, do me a favor, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you love things like fitness and motivation and vlogs, that's what this channel is going to be. And if you like things like reactions and sit down talking content about random things, subscribe to my other channel, The Quan Bailey Show, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more towards the end of the video of why I have those things. But what did you click the video for, right? I'm gonna tell you right now how much I made across all platforms and with brand deals in the last nine months. Now, I can't give you a breakdown on the brand deals because at the end of the day, that affects my ability to negotiate. And of course, as my following goes, rates go higher, but I can give you a roundabout number for how much I've made. So, including views, including platforms, and including brand deals, I have made this year just over $29,000, folks. So that's in nine months here on social media. Now you may say, you can't live on $29,000. I re completely respect and understand what you're telling me, guys. I get it. But in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown of how much money I've made on each social media platform this year. And then we're going to talk a little bit about brand deals towards the end. And I'm going to ask you guys some questions, things like what other content would you like to see? I'm going to be vlogging more, showing you my lifestyle more, showing more days in my life so you can understand how I do what I do. If that makes sense, let's lock in and let's have some fun, folks. Let's go. So Facebook is the platform that pays me pretty much the least. I make about 60 bucks or so every two weeks. That usually turns out to about about 120 bucks a month in payments. I didn't start getting paid from them though until um, till about July. So that amount of money has been super low. It was like 60 bucks the first month. The next month was about 80 bucks or so. And then last month was about 120, which you'll see that up on the screen right here. But you're thinking to yourself, this is just content that I've already posted other places. So this isn't like new original or like creative content for that specific platform. So it's like a nice little, not even a little, that's a nice amount of passive money. I mean, you know, when you're looking at somewhere around, you know, like two, th about $300, that's a pretty good amount of money to make. Oh, that's about $260. It's a pretty good amount of money to make from one platform, right? Now, let's move on to the second largest platform, right? This is something that I was really shocked was happening. I made about $2,800, $2,817.37 on YouTube from January 1st to September 18th, which is the time of this video, all right? So I put that up there on the screen for you. That's a great amount of money. And to be completely honest, last year, I actually, in the entire year, only made about 2,500 bucks. So I've made $300 more than last year, just, and we're only getting into the start of the fourth quarter. I've got about three, almost four months left of this month in terms of income to be reported so we could see a much higher year this year and why is this important guys $2,800 you may say that's not worth me making content honestly folks remember I still work full-time I still run my business I'm a personal trainer I have a business that I run out here in Venice so I'm doing this in addition to my job but $2,800 on YouTube is absolutely awesome most of that money has come from a nice, it's actually a nice even split from YouTube Shorts that pays me about $1,500 this year, and then I think regular videos have paid me about 13 or 1400. Those numbers may be reversed, but I will definitely put them up on the screen for you so you guys can see them. But as you can see, it's been pretty even. Short form videos pay really well, man. On my short form videos, I average around 20 cents per thousand views, which is really, really good. I mean, when this, when Shorts first started, we didn't make pretty much any money on it. So when I was first getting my page so much bigger, like when I was first growing up on the pages, like blowing up, if you will, I wasn't making much money at all. And it was tough because I'm, I remember when I hit 20,000, 40,000 subscribers, I was making literally zero money because they really weren't paying that much for shorts views. But now it's completely different. So 20 cents per thousand views is awesome. As for long form videos, I average in that, like that, that five to seven uh, dollars per thousand, room, uh, thousand views. And I've actually been very interesting with that. I don't typically post the same way that I used to post. Like I'm not just posting fitness content. I've experimented with long form content because since my page was grown from primarily short form content, it's hard for me to get long form views. So like anyone trying to grow on anything, I experiment. I take that data and try different things. I try different genres. I've tried different things to try to promote my page and, and get that long form content to go as well as well. But hey, still making you know over $1,000 this year on long form content when I'm still figuring out has been absolutely amazing. But now let's get to the big bucks. As of this morning, this year on TikTok, 
I've made $10,960, guys. I have it up on the screen, <clears throat> which is absolutely amazing to me to think that <clears throat> in nine months, I have basically made almost $11,000 from just views. So how does it work on TikTok? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. You get paid per thousand views, but it fluctuates. So I average an RPM, which is rate per milli, very similar to how it works on YouTube, of about 90 cents or so per thousand views, okay? Um, and with that being said, I've gotten 12.3 million views this year on content that is monetizable on TikTok. And so with that being said, my RPM was 89 cents exactly, which was really, really cool. So let's talk about how the monetization on TikTok works, right? YouTube, we all know how it works. It's pretty simple. But TikTok, it's really hard to understand for a lot of people. You have to have over 10,000 followers and you have to have over 100,000 views in the last 30 days to qualify for their program. But once you're in, they, you, know, you basically post content, you get paid per thousand views on that content if it is for you page views. And for you page views are the views you get when you're just scrolling through TikTok traditionally. When that video pops up, that's a for you page view. Now, if you go to my page and watch a video, I don't technically get paid on that. But when it's getting pushed to new audiences, that's how I get paid. A lot of my content this year has been pushed to new audiences, which has been amazing. Now, you might think $11,000 in nine months is not that much. You're posting once or twice a day. That's not, you know, that's, that's not a lot. I'm going to tell you why it's a lot to me. In the last 17 days, folks, 18 days, I've made $2,720 on TikTok. So basically, everything, as you guys have seen, is starting to go up. I'm increasing every month, month over month, right? So before September, I was barely at eight grand earned on TikTok this year. And I was averaging about $1,000 a month, but now we've had a month where it's almost 3,000 in earnings and we're barely past halfway through the month. What does that tell you? That tells you that it's time for you to post, guys. You saw. Basically, you know, 13, uh, 14,000 ish just from views. That's not me talking to a brand. That's just me working with me. All right. And I still work. I still have a job. I have a business that I run as a personal trainer, train clients all throughout the day. But I now have this other income source from just posting content, just pressing record, just pressing post. That's what's going on, right? And this is the first year where I've been making money on the on the internet like this. Before, you know, it was a year where I make maybe 2K on YouTube, maybe like four or five, maybe 600 bucks on TikTok, and then nothing on Meta, right? On Meta platforms. But now we've gotten some sizable amounts of income on everything. But before I wrap it up and go into another couple topics, I wanna say one more thing. Let's talk about brand deals. So brand deals are very important. This is the money you make from working with brands, them giving you promotions, like they give you a product, you promote it, you sell it. Sometimes you get a flat rate, sometimes it's just commission structure. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. A lot of people, when it's just commission, we kind of call that like affiliate deals. But a lot of times, if your following has enough engagement, a brand will reach out to you, or you have, if you have an agent, I don't have an agent, a brand will reach out to you, you guys negotiate what the deal would be, you decide if you wanna use the product or not. A lot of times they'll send you a product to try to make sure you like it before you go to promote it, which I always make sure I do. Or if it's like a software or a product, something like that, right? Now with that, I can't tell you basically how much I charge per brand deal, but I can say this year I've actually, which is crazy to me, made over $15,000 this year on just brand deals. And it's crazy because it's been spread out over the year. Last year I made maybe $1,000 total on brand deals, so this year to be at 15,000 is absolutely crazy. So as you guys see, brings you to that grand total of, of about 29 dollars to $30,000 and and deals if you guys have any questions that are specific to this down below let me know i can answer them in a day in a live vlog um if you're interested in a day in a live vlog please comment that down below that way i can give you guys kind of an insight of what i do every day my editing like how i do my editing my workout content you know still training my clients with my business you know hanging out with my girl and my dog like right now i'm actually house sitting for a client so i'm here house sitting like if you guys want to see how i do all those things i'd be willing to film that vlog for you guys tomorrow again i'm trying to work on my long form content i hope this was informative to you i I hope this helped you understand what's actually possible out there, folks, if you just believe it in yourself, all right? I know a lot of you are going to see this and say, I don't want to take the time it takes to learn how to make content. Like for me personally, I've been doing this for about eight years consistently, and I was basically profitless for the first six years, right? Um, I went through so much during that time, you know, relationships, jobs, all sorts of things, but I knew this was something that could do well for me in the future, and now it's finally starting to happen. The reason why I'm being transparent about this is I just want you guys to know that there's room for all of us here. I make fitness-based content. I just work out and have fun on camera, right? I've made videos when I was going through some of my darkest times. 
those videos did good, but it wasn't about them doing good. It was just about showing my audience, you know, about being authentic. Like everyone makes it like things are perfect all the time and I will never do that. I'm a really positive and upbeat person, but it's taken me a long time to get here. So for the OG followers that have seen me go from, you know, sleeping on the couch to getting my room, getting my life back in order after all the, all the bad things that happened last year, the tragedies and all the, the life changes. I want to say thank you guys because I wouldn't be here without you. And to be able to bring in, you know, 30, almost 30 racks in, in nine months is pretty impressive. We're on pace for $40,000 this year and just from posting on social media. You know what I mean? Like that's more than a lot of people make as their actual like just career. And I still work full time outside of this. So it's possible. No, I'm not a millionaire making hundred thousand dollars a month like some people put out there, but I'm making progress, folks. So I hope that made sense to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching more workouts coming, more vlogs coming. Let me know if you have any questions down below. This video was made because I just realized where the numbers were. So this isn't super planned. This is just me excited and talking to the camera. But other than that, I appreciate and love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks folks.